welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five go-to hairstyles. Hairstyles have been something that I've recently really gotten into. I feel like everybody used to just straighten their hair and have it down, but lately it's been really trendy to give yourself a cute hairstyle. And as I'm walking around school and dance and just the general public, I'm seeing so many girls with their hair up in cute high ponytails, braids, half up, half down. Hair claws have been all over the social media the past couple years. And I honestly absolutely love it and can definitely get on board with this hype. I think it's so fun just to have something to look forward to each day as small as the act of doing your hair nice and it honestly makes me feel so good about myself and it's kind of another form of self-love, of self-care and making yourself feel motivated for the day ahead. I know when I go to bed the first thing that enters my head is what hairstyle am I going to do tomorrow and I have an entire Pinterest board of hairstyle ideas. If you want to go check it out my Pinterest will be up on the screen as well as all my other social media which are always in the link down below if you want to see my hairstyles every day or just keep up with my everyday life in general if you do enjoy this video and want to see more content like this in the future let me know and give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado let's jump into my all-time favorite hairstyles that I've been doing this year hairstyle number one is literally one of my favorite hairstyles ever it's so easy honestly and I only started doing it at like the start of this year which honestly surprises me although it's it's my go-to hairstyle for when my hair is really greasy because I feel like when your hair is really clean it doesn't really work as well because it's a braid spoiler alert and although it looks really pretty when your hair is clean it does look a bit frizzy so I recommend this the day of hair washing day and it's just such a nice looking put together hairstyle it's definitely one of those hairstyles that looks better from the back than the front but sometimes I like to pull a couple pieces out maybe curl them straighten them and kind of style it how I want and it does kind of take a little bit to learn how to do this I can never do two braids on myself and it's taken until now to be able to do one but let's jump into it this hairstyle is a middle part back braid and this is something that I do all the time for school for this hairstyle you will need a hairbrush hairspray and preferably a little like small elastic that goes on the ends of your ponytails or braids but today I only have a thick one so first of all you're just going to do a middle section and then you're just going to grab the two parts at the side as if you were doing half up half down so not the entire side of your head just the top part depending how high you want it depends on how much hair you grab at the start if you want this hairstyle to be easier to do definitely grab more hair towards the lower part because you will have to braid less but if you want it to be harder or I kind of like the look of it better grab some higher parts and then once you have these two parts, grab the middle section. This is like the hardest part, but once you have these parts, it's quite easy. And then you just braid it as normal. And then what you do, you just keep doing that pattern and motion. And then once you get to this part, this is where it gets really easy. You've done the braid at the top and now you just braid it as if it's a normal low braid. And then this goes with every single hairstyle. I just spray it with hairspray afterwards. I am a sucker for hairspray. Honestly, at the end of the week before I wash my hair, it's literally just hairspray. And that is my high braid done. My next go-to hairstyle is perfect for those days when your hair's not dirty but it's not necessarily clean and that is my half up half down with a mini hair claw. For this hairstyle it is essential to have something you can clip your hair up with. I am obsessed with these mini hair claws. I think this one's from Kmart but I use this to pull my hair up and tie it. I use my hairbrush, hairspray of course, it wouldn't be a hairstyle that Grace does without some hairspray. And then my GHG Curve Tongue Soft Curl Hair Curler. I am obsessed with this. It is literally my holy grail. It gives me the nicest curls and it heats up in 10 seconds. And one thing I love about the GHG Curler is that the tongue's really wide. I have a lot of hair and I would say it's kind of thick. When I'm curling my hair on these like little thin twons, it's really hard. However, this one is just absolutely perfect. This is not sponsored by the way. I just truly love the GHG products. 
I'm going to go plug this in so it can heat up while I do my hairstyle. But the great thing about this is that you don't actually have to heat it up. It literally starts in 10 seconds, which I love for when I'm like running out the door on the way to school or dance and I'm like, oh my God, my hair just needs a little bit of a touch up, but I don't have time to wait for my curler to heat up because this takes like 10 seconds and then you're done. Now my hair curler is all heated up, I'm just going to get on with the actual hairstyle now. But I do what I did with the last hairstyle and I just grab the front parts, but not the entire thing, just half. But then once I section these off, I basically tie it into a little bun so my hair core grips the hair the whole day. And I can go a whole school day wearing this hairstyle and it doesn't fall out, which I love. I completely forgot to mention that I go in with heat spray, which is something I really recommend. I never used to do it and I didn't realize how bad it was until now I use heat on my hair a lot and using heat protectant is something that is a must another reason I love this hairstyle is because if I do have to use heat on my hair it's not a lot because it's just the ends and I just brush that through and let it dry for a bit before I add my curls. A lot of the time I'll even do this and straighten my hair. That also looks really nice. Two different vibes but also just as easy. My curling wand is now ready to curl. hairstyle is one that I feel like we've all seen everywhere. I kind of feel like it was the first hairstyle to really take off and encourage people to kind of experiment with the way they style their hair and that is a high ponytail with a braid. This is still one of my go-tos and I feel like it's great for those days where you don't want to put much effort in. It's quick, it's easy, you can do it with kind of dirty hair, clean hair. For this hairstyle I'm going to be using two hair ties for my ponytail and one for the end of my braid just so it stays more stable. My hair brush and then my styling hairspray. I also know a lot of people use hair gel for this. I have a styling texture little cream hair gel that I use. It's this one from the brand that starts with S that I can never pronounce. Everything goes white. I can feel the breeze. This may be one of the best high braids I've done in a while. When I'm filming hairstyles for no reason, they turn out good, and then when I'm trying to make myself look nice for school or for an event, it turns out disastrous. Oh, it's real hard to on to the next hairstyle. My next hairstyle is going to be one that I constantly reach for. It's so easy. I feel like a lot of people have seen this hairstyle. It's nothing new, but it's just my hair core. I use this really large one. I find this holds my hair the best. Places are starting to sell these large ones now a lot more than they used to. I used to struggle to find ones this size, but I think cotton on and places like that have such a variety. And my number one tip on how to have your hair core secure in your hair, because I know a lot of girls are always like how do I have a hair claw in because my hair just falls out of them. I grab a little hair tie and I do a ponytail and then do my hair claw and clip it in. So as you will see my hair is curled. I love this hairstyle for when my hair's curly. I actually wore this hairstyle to my brother's wedding. Now that I have my ponytail, I'm going to twist this hair up and then around the ponytail once. And you can keep twisting it all around so that your hair claw covers your whole entire hair or you can kind of have it look as if it's a ponytail. Today I'm going to have it this way where I half curl it and I just pin it in. It's time for my infamous clean girl bun. If you don't stay up to date with my YouTube shorts for one, what are you doing? Honestly, they're so good. No, I'm just kidding. But I posted a YouTube short on how I do my clean girl bun and my little tutorial. So you, if you want a full in-depth routine or just a short form content that you can refer back to if you're about to do the hairstyle in the morning, go check it out. I'll leave it up here or in the link down below or it's just like on my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you guys it again and put it in this video because I think I've nailed it. And it's been a hairstyle that I always thought was so scary and hard to do and now I'm like 
it's literally so easy and I think it's the most flattering hairstyle ever. It gives off Hailey Bieber vibes. It makes me feel put together. And I also have to give credit to a girl on Pinterest. If I can find her video, I'll leave it somewhere up on the screen. But she kind of inspired me to readapt this hairstyle a bit. And she gave me some tips and tricks on how I could make it the best possible clean girl bun I could make it. So thank you to that video. It was so helpful. So first of all, you take the two front parts. Then essentially just do a normal ponies hair to begin with. Now that you've got this really nice ponytail you're going to take these two front parts and just pull them back to create a V shape in your hair. I do feel this hairstyle requires a lot of hairspray so do watch out for that. Now that we have the ponytail which is honestly I believe the hardest part but a lot of people think the bun is but ever since I started using bobby pins which are the secret to the perfect clean girl bun like this is what's going to change the game. First thing I do is I divide my ponytail into two sections and then I make an X and I roll them through each other. That is my bun done. When I'm without you. With that being said, those are my top five go-to hairstyles, which I have been loving not only lately, but just this year in general. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up once again. All my social media is always in the link down below for more inspo on fashion, hairstyles, food, life, literally everything. Let me know any other videos you want to see. I had a lot of fun filming this one, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.